So inclycerin is a brand new class of drug which basically works through a process called RNA interference. So this is a way of, of gene silencing. So the way that the drug works is that it's taken up by the liver and using the body's own system uh, a, a set of enzymes called RNA-inducing silencing complexes. The, the drug basically matches to PCSK9 messenger RNA. And that's the link between the genes trying to produce more PCSK9 and the protein appearing in blood. So when this complex binds to the messenger RNA for PCSK9, it causes it to be broken down. And it keeps doing that, and it keeps doing that, and it keeps doing that. Because these RNA-induced scientin complexes are present in most cells. So this approach is a little bit like switching off the tap so reducing the production of PCSK9 as opposed to standing with a bucket, collecting it and shoveling it away, which is what the monoclonals do. So what we did in this study is ask, well, most of what PCSK9 in blood actually is produced by the liver. So if you target the liver, can we get a similar reduction in LDL cholesterol with this approach as the monoclonals? So this was a phase two dose finding study and a dosing regimen study. We already knew it had a long duration of effect. So we tested three doses that we just gave once and we tested another starting regimen. These are both starting regimens where we gave a second dose but at three months. And we kept following these people up. So what we found is that within 14 days you would pretty much knock down PCSK9 production by 70-80%. LDL levels started to come down, and they stayed down. So with the single injection, 300 and 500 milligrams were, were very actually similar in terms of potency all the way through to nine months. And you usually, with a, with a dose finding study, you want to exclude a low dose, you want to exclude a high dose, so you choose an intermediate dose for safety usually. So the 300 milligram dose, if you look at the average reduction at nine months after one injection, it's 41%. What we found is if you give a second injection of 300 at day 90 or three months, you get a further 10% reduction and you've got a long duration of effect. So that's why we think that's the starting dose. And at nine months, your LDL reduction is roughly where it was at three months. So that would be the optimal timing for the next dose. And you could probably then do it every six months. And if you look at our data with this starting regimen, at nine months, you got a 50% reduction. The other thing that was unique is we do, um, we, we look at something called a waterfall plot. And what that is, is look at individual patients and seeing do they go up or down from baseline. So when we did that with the people that were just on statins and got dummy injection, half went up, half went down. Now the drugs don't stop working, so what is it? It's the compliance issue. Patients don't take tablets properly. The same we know is true with the monoclonal injections. You've got to take those every two months. If you don't take them properly, PCSK9 levels go back up. So now you're not over time getting the same benefit that you are if you're taking it in a regimented way. In contrast, what we saw was that every single person responded. There were no non-responders. The average reduction was 52.6% at, at six months. The maximum was over 80%. And that translates into really large absolute differences in LDL cholesterol, which would, you would expect over time, translate into reductions in, in clinical events. So our plans now are, the other thing I should say, is the drug was actually safe. There were no differences between placebo and people giving in glycerin in adverse events. We saw no liver issues, we saw no muscle issues, we didn't see any reduction in platelet counts, we didn't see increase in inflammation. These are all things that people are worried about with uh, a drug that you inject. Does it stimulate an, an immune response? We didn't see anti-drug antibodies like the um, bocuzumab monoclonal spire data, for example, today. So the next step for us is we've established safety, we've identified the dose, is now to go and study it in a patient population and show that we can actually reduce clinical events, reduce the body counts. And we plan to do that. The trial's called Orion 4. We should be starting that later on this year, looking at people with established vascular disease or primary prevention patients with a high LDL cholesterol, where if you can maintain this 50% reduction over time, starting at a high level, 
you should see somewhere between 30 to 35% reduction in clinical events if you follow them up for long enough, and that's where we are.